Hey, do you still flip light switches by hand? Well, today you just add one simple smart switch. Now you can control your lights with your phone. Or use voice commands. Alexa, turn on the light switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off the light switch. Okay. Hey Google, turn on the light switch. Hey Google, turn off the light switch. Pretty neat, right? You get wireless smart lighting instantly. Next up, I'll show you how to master these smart switches. You'll see, whether it's Tuya, EWILink, or other brands. They all follow the same process. Check out this common home lighting setup. The live wire runs from MCB, but it passes through your wall switch first, then connects to the light's live wire. Your manual switch controls the circuit by connecting or disconnecting the live wire. The neutral wire runs straight from your MCB directly to the light's neutral terminal. Want the easiest smart switch installation? Start right near the light fixture. Find its live and neutral wires directly. Find your installation spot. Let's start wiring now. First turn off your MCB. Never work on live wires safety first. Separate the wires at this point. See I used wire connectors here. Just remove those connectors. Next, take the two wires going to the light. Connect these to smart switch output. The other pair goes to input. Match live wire to live neutral to neutral. If your light flickers after this, check if live and neutral got swapped. You can pause here to check the wiring diagram. Got it connected. Now turn your MCB back on. Power's flowing. Important note. Our live wire is still controlled by this manual wall switch, so keep your wall switch on. See the indicator light and button on the smart switch. Press once, light turns on. Press again, light turns off. Now let's pair it. This is a Tuya smart device, so you've got two app options. Smart Life or Tuya. Both work perfectly. I'll demo with Smart Life here. Open the Smart Life app. Tap the plus icon top right. Select add device. It'll start scanning now. Notice the prompt, your phone's Bluetooth is off. So enable Bluetooth now as instructed. With Bluetooth on restart scanning. If no device appears, your switch isn't in pairing mode. Press and hold the switch button for 5 seconds. After releasing the light goes off then blinks. That means pairing mode is active. Add device screen shows the found switch. Tap add now. Adding our smart switch. Chi I chip smart switch. You can rename this later. Follow prompts to select your Wi-Fi. Enter Wi-Fi password. Note only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi works here. 5 GHz won't work. If your Wi-Fi isn't detected, check distance first. Also verify your Wi-Fi band. You might need to adjust router settings. Set it to 2.4 GHz frequency. After setting up Wi-Fi, wait for connection. Keep phone and switch close. Ensure successful pairing. If you have smart speakers, you'll get notifications too. Pairing complete. Tap the device now. You're in the main interface. Besides the main switch. See three buttons below. Power. Timer's a multifunction tool. Lots of options here. Countdown. Schedule. Circulate. Random. Inching. Set it as momentary mode. Or use sunrise slash sunset timing. Rightmost is settings. Switch log. Shows every on, off record. Your essential troubleshooting tool. Relay status. Sets relay action after power loss. Three modes when power returns. Power on mode. Power off mode. Restore state mode. Keeps pre-outage status automatically. Child lock. Stops accidental presses by kids. Back to app homepage. Tap scene at bottom. Link other smart devices. Example. With motion sensors. Set smart lighting automation. 
Lights on when people enter. Lights off when people leave. Final step smart speaker pairing. For voice control convenience. First rename your device. Make it easy to pronounce. Tap the three dot menu top right. Then select device name. Rename it here. I'm calling light switch. Back to device screen. See your new name displayed. Tap three dot menu again. Choose voice assistant integration, third part control. Three supported platforms. We'll demo Alexa and Google Assistant now. Ensure your Alexa account is logged in and speaker set up properly. If not, follow your Alexa speaker manual. Now back to this screen, tap Alexa. Then bottom right, relink. It automatically switches to Alexa app. Hit link. Then jumps back to Smart Life app. Your Smart Life device syncs to Alexa. Now try voice commands. Alexa, turn off the light switch. Okay. Alexa, turn on the light switch. Okay. Same steps for Google Assistant. Watch the demo. Hey Google, turn on light switch. Hey Google, turn off light switch. Great job. Now you've mastered all functions. Besides this 10 ampere Wi Fi model, we have 16 ampere high power switches. Handles heavier loads easily. Also Wi-Fi and RF dual protocol smart switches. Model KR2201W. Compatible with RF key fobs. And RF wall switches. Curious about these? Drop your questions below. I'm working on follow-up videos right now. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Finally smash that thumbs up button. Your support fuels my next tutorial. By the way, I'll release the product manual and some wiring diagrams through YouTube community posts. Stay tuned.